As your Office 365 admin, we deal with lots of messages in Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Now, it becomes really difficult at some point to manage those messages through 365 Admin Center and keep track of those messages and, you know, plan properly. So in this video, we are going to look at how we can manage those messages through Microsoft Planner by integrating Microsoft Planner with Microsoft Teams. We can then treat those messages as tasks and even assign those tasks to our team members or to different buckets to plan it properly. We can keep proper tracking on the messages and plan our environment for any upcoming changes. Let's go and check it out how to do that. Because we want to manage the Microsoft 365 messages from the message center through Microsoft Planner, which is integrated within Teams so that we can actually assign all those messages as tasks to our team members. So what I've done is I've actually created a Microsoft team called M365 support. And then under that, I've created a channel for M365 messages. So what we need to do now is to actually create a planner so that we can actually sync the messages from the Microsoft 365 message center to the planner itself. So to do that, we'll click on the plus button and this will now open up a dialogue and we probably need to search for a task. So which is already there. So I'll just click on the plus button and it will now create the procedure of creating a planner um, within Microsoft Teams. So on this screen, we have a choice to create a new plan or we can use an existing plan because we don't have any existing plans within um, this team. So we will just go with creating a new plan. You might want to name it so that it is actually familiar. So let's just say M365 messages and we click on the save button. So a planner called M365 messages is now created and a shortcut is actually added at the top. Now, by default, it actually gives us to do and add new buckets options um, because we want to sync the messages. And when you sync the messages, all those messages basically ends up in one bucket. And from there, you can actually organize those messages. So let's just say we want to sync all the messages in this bucket and we want to name it something um, familiar or something we know that we probably need to say some action on those messages. So let's just call it untriaged so that you're aware that you have to take some action on these um, messages. And then we add a new bucket called reviewed. So all the messages from this bucket, you can actually move to reviewed if you have reviewed those, or you can probably create uh, another bucket. For example, you know, there are a lot of messages from the message center, which are specific to user comms and might impact your users and you probably want to you know manage such messages so that you can actually create uh, you know user comms or take some actions so let's just call it user communications and the final bucket we can say um, probably you know rolling out for example Right. Um, so this this bucket could be used for any messages which is in the current stage of being rolling out. Now you don't have to create buckets. What I have created, you can create bucket based on your requirements. So these buckets could be, for example, untriaged, and you know could be based on the applications itself. So you know one bucket could be for SharePoint and OneDrive. The other bucket could be for Exchange Online and for other applications. So you can tweak it based on your requirements. Now that we have created our planner, which is integrated within Microsoft Teams. So what we need to do now is to go onto the message center and then create a sync. Now, before we go and create a sync, there is something you should be aware of. So let me tell you uh, about that. So if I click on the Eclipse and just say manage team. So under that, if you find that, you know, there are a number of members added to the team, um, I've got three guests which are added uh, as members and guests for the team who can actually, you know, take some actions on these teams and work and collaborate within these teams. And all these members basically have access to the planner as well. Now, the important thing is about the account which you have actually used to create this planner. 
Um, I assume because you're just creating this, you know, through Microsoft Teams, so you might be using your own normal user account. For Planner to Sync, because when you go on to the Microsoft 365 Message Center, you will need to have an admin account, you know. So that admin account basically have access to the 365 admin portal. Now, the account which we use here, it should basically be either be the same account that you actually going to create a sync or you can actually use your admin account, for example, going to add member and, you know, start typing your admin account and add that admin account to this team. Why we're doing that is because once you have added that admin account in this section, then this planner will appear in the Microsoft 365 message center planner sync options. I'll show you what it means in a minute. So, you know, once you're happy with that, once you have added your account or you might just use, you know, one account to create Microsoft team, which is the same account which you use to jump onto your 365 admin center. If those are the same accounts, you don't need to do anything here. So let's just quickly jump on the Microsoft 365 message center. So I'm logged on to the admin.microsoft.com and under health, there is a message center link. So I've opened the message center. Now I'm using my admin account. So the account which I used on Microsoft Teams is the same account which I'm using here, which is my admin account. Now to create a sync, there is actually an option called planner syncing. So let's just click on planner syncing. Once we click on that, it actually opens up a pane on your right hand side and then we click on setup sync. Now on this window, we need to set up a sync and we need to select a plan which we want to sync to. So let's just click here and I can see that there are two planners. So this is the planner which is sitting under a group called M365 support and M365 messages which is we just created and we want to sync to this planner. Now if you don't add your admin account to this group or to that Microsoft team, you won't see this message um, or you won't see this, you know, a planner appearing in the drop down because your admin account does not have access to this. So make sure you actually use the same account or add your admin account to this um, group or to your, to your teams. So we select M365 messages. This is the plan that we want to sync and we can either use an existing bucket so if I click on the drop down, these are all the buckets that we have created under this plan. Or we can actually create a new bucket. Um, so, you know, we have already planned our planner. So we're just going to use the existing buckets. And we want to sync all the messages to untriaged bucket. So, and we click next. Now on the next screen, it is actually going to give us options of what we want to sync what categories we want to sync to our planner. Now, based on your requirements or your team, right? Or the applications that you have deployed within your 365 environment, this is kind of a filter. So for example, the first one is, you know, an option to basically say, we want to get all updates. Basically, you know, we want to sync all updates, all the messages coming from the message center. Or you can only select the major updates. Um, I like to keep informed uh, what is actually happening in the environment. So I'll go with all updates option and if you scroll down and then these are the categories that we want to include. You know, if you don't want to include the stay informed messages, you can uncheck this box, but I like to actually know what is happening in the environment so that we can take any appropriate actions. So I'm happy with this. Now the third one is basically about all the messages for specific products and services. So these are all the applications um, that you can actually sync your planner to or all the messages specific to these applications will be synced. But let's say for example, if you don't have Microsoft Kazaa deployed in your environment and you don't have, um, you know, Dynamics 365 apps. So you can actually uncheck these boxes. It will save us time to going through all the messages which actually syncs to your uh, planner. And then we click 
Next. Now, on this next screen, this is about importing the messages. So, you know, we if we click on the drop down, it actually you can select whether you want to import messages from past seven days, past 14 days, you know, or 28 or 21 days. Or don't import current messages and just wait for the new messages to come and then those messages will be synced. Um, I like to import all the messages from last seven days because I haven't looked at those messages as yet. So I click on this and select next and finish. Now the other optional step that we can configure is rather than coming to this message center again and manually click on the sync link, you can actually set up an automatic sync. Now this automatic syncing is powered by Microsoft Power Automate and this will you know automatically provision in the background. So it will create a workflow which will kick in based on your sync start date. So let's say I want to sync from tomorrow and then I want to sync at 9 a.m. every morning. Um, so you know it's every morning basically you can say it repeats every day or two days or three days i like to get the messages every morning so that you know whenever we have our team stand-ups so we have the latest messages so once you are happy with the automatic syncing settings then you can click on create flow with power automate so let's just click on this button and it will now create a flow in the background so we now get a message about creative flow and you know these are the settings and this is signing in using my account and then we click on create flow. On the next screen it just tells us the planner syncing is all set up and the automatic syncing is ready to go tomorrow at 9 a.m. and repeats every day. And then we click on done. So we now have our planner syncing complete. So if you click on the planner syncing option again on the right hand side it actually gives us a summary of what we have just configured. If you want to change the automated syncing you can actually stop it using this option and then you know you can configure it again to a different time and similarly if you want to change you know what messages you are syncing if you want to change you know the services and stuff you can actually click on the edit button and reconfigure those things if you want to do a manual sync you can click on the sync now link as well so you can actually click on the sync now option from the right hand side as well so on the top right you will see it actually tells us when was the last sync and there's a sync now link so this is quite handy if you want to sync the latest items or messages from the Microsoft message center to your planner so for example you have a teams meeting or your stand-ups you know at 9 a.m. in the morning and then again you have a meeting about 4 o'clock let's say you can actually click on the sync now button and this will kind of manually sync all the latest messages to your planner. So now that we have looked at this, let's go back to the Teams, um, Microsoft Teams and look at the planner, what actually happened in the planner itself. So we click on the channel and then we click on the 365 messages planner. Now under this planner, we can see that it has actually synced the messages under untriaged bucket. That's what we selected in the planner syncing options. If you scroll down you might find that you know there are a lot of messages that is actually syncing and this list might grow uh, because it might still be loading now once you have all of your messages there now all these messages are now normal tasks within a planner so for example if you want to take some actions on this obviously so one of your team member comes to this you can actually open this and then treat these as normal tasks so you can actually assign this to your team member and probably move it to a different bucket as well. So for example, untriaged bucket we actually using if nobody has looked at it yet. But if someone from your team has already looked at these messages, you can basically say reviewed. Um, or if you need to take some any actions on it or probably need to create a user comms, you can actually probably move this to a user comms. And similarly, you can add your comments and add attachments so this is like a normal planner task that you can actually treat all these messages so this is quite handy as you can actually use it as a normal planner task and assign messages 
uh, or tasks to your team members and you know manage all these messages properly not only we can go back to the history of those messages and track what we have actually done or what actions we have taken we can actually plan those messages properly we can put them into different buckets and assign those messages to different team members so that we can actually plan the deployment or you know any actions we have to take on those messages in a proper way which is trackable i guess that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave your comments below and hit like and subscribe to my channel i hope to see you next time